This is the sixth video on physics quiz. Here we'll be talking about the gravitation and related terms and terminologies. This is a part of 25 part video series wherein we'll be discussing the basic fundamentals and concepts relating to various physical phenomena, famous scientists and other frequently asked questions in various exams. You'll find these videos besides the respective GK Today quiz under physics quiz section. Link is in the description. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Question number one is, which of the following is true about universal gravitational constant? In the case of two bodies, each of unit mass having their centers placed at unit distance apart. Correct answer is A. The universal gravitational constant is equal to the force of attraction between the two bodies. Each of unit mass having their centers placed at unit distance apart can be shown as F is equal to G M1 M2 upon R where M1 and M2 are 1 as well as R is also equal to 1. Then F is equal to G which means universal gravitational constant in this case is equal to the force of attraction between them. Which of the following law states that the orbits of the planets are eclipses with the sun at one focus of the eclipse? Correct answer is Kepler's first law. It is also known as the law of orbits or law of eclipses. It states that every planet revolves around the sun in an elliptical orbit. The sun is situated at one foci of the eclipse. Kepler's second law is also known as Correct answer is Law of Areas. Kepler's second law of planetary motion basically describes the speed of a planet which is traveling in an elliptical orbit around the sun. Kepler's second law states that an imaginary line joining a planet and the sun sweeps out an equal area of space in equal amounts of time. That is the aerial velocity of the planet around the sun is constant. The speed of the planet increases as it nears the sun and decreases as it recedes away from the sun. Hence, this is also called the law of equal areas in equal time. As per the Kepler's third law, the square of the time period of revolution of a planet is directly proportional to which of the following? Correct answer is D. Kepler's third law or the law of harmony states that the square of the time period of revolution of a planet is directly proportional to the cube of semi-major axis of its elliptical orbit. It is also known as the law of periods. Which of the following represents the dimensional formula of universal gravitational constant? Correct answer is C. It is given by m minus 1 L3 T minus 2. Universal gravitational constant is a scalar quantity and is represented as 6.67408 into 10 raised to minus 11 cubic meter per kg second square. And because of the units, the dimensional formula that we get is m minus 1 L3 T minus 2. The universal gravitational constant for two bodies is dependent on which of the following? Correct answer is none of the above. The value of universal gravitational constant is same throughout the universe. It is independent of the nature of the bodies, size of the bodies and the nature of the medium between the bodies. Which of the following is incorrect? Here yeah, the answer is C. To understand this, let us look at the characteristics of gravitational forces. It is always attractive in nature. It is independent of the medium between the bodies. It holds good over wide range of distances. It is a central force that is acts along the line joining the centers of the two interacting bodies. Gravitational force between two particles is independent of the presence or absence of other bodies. It is the weakest force in the nature as well as is a conservative force. That is work done by it is path independent or work done in moving a particle round a closed path under the action of gravitational force is equal to zero and it is an action reaction pair. What is the SI unit of acceleration due to gravity? Correct answer is A. Acceleration due to gravity is the acceleration set up in the body when it falls freely under the effect of gravity alone. The SI unit of acceleration due to gravity is meter per second square. What is the value of acceleration due to gravity at the center of the earth? Correct answer is B0. To understand this, might want to look at the formula at the right. Which of the following is correct about acceleration due to gravity? Answer is B. The value of acceleration due to gravity decreases with depth. To understand this, let us again look at the formula. G0 is equal to G, 
1 minus d upon r, where d is the depth below the center of the earth. Which of the following is true about the effect of altitude on the value of acceleration due to gravity? You know, the answer is A. The acceleration due to gravity decreases with the height. G0 is equal to small g bracket 1 minus 2h upon r, where h is the height above the surface of the earth. Which of the following statement is correct? The correct answer is B. Acceleration due to gravity is maximum at the poles and is least at the equator. The value of acceleration due to gravity increases as we go from equator towards the pole. The value of acceleration due to gravity is minimum on which of these planets? Your correct answer is C. To understand this, let us look at again as the formula. The value of small g on any other planet can be calculated from the mass of the planet and the radius of the planet. The value of capital G was experimentally determined by Lord Henry Cavendish using a torsion balance. Torsion balance is an instrument for measuring very weak forces by their effect upon a system of fine twisted wires. So using this equation, the following acceleration of gravity values can be calculated for the various planets. And on basis of this, acceleration due to gravity is minimum on planet Mercury and is maximum on planet Jupiter. What is the unit of intensity of gravitational field in CGS system? Here the correct answer is D. To understand this, let us look at the SI unit of intensity of gravitational field, which is given by Newton per kg. Hence, the CGS is dyne per gram. It is also represented by meter per second square. To understand this, let us understand the gravitational field intensity. It is the force on a unit mass at a point in the field. Now, since force is given by mass into acceleration, it can be written as mass into acceleration upon mass, which means it can also be written as Newton per kg or if mass gets cancelled, what remains is acceleration, which is given by meter per second square. And that is how we get the 2 SI unit of intensity of gravitational field. What is the dimensional formula of gravitational potential? Correct answer is C. The dimensional formula is given by M0 L2 T minus 2 and it is a scalar quantity. Its SI unit is given by joule per kg. The joule is a derived unit of energy. It is equal to the energy transferred to or work done by an object when a force of 1 Newton acts on that object in the direction of its motion through a distance of 1 meter. It can also be written as 1 Newton meter which means again force can be written as mass into acceleration and hence it can be kg into meter per second square into meter. Hence we get kg into meter square upon second square. Now this was about the joule. Coming back to gravitational potential, it is given by joule per kg, which means joule into 1 upon kg, which is equal to kg into meter square upon s square into 1 upon kg. If kg gets cancelled, we are left with m square s square. And hence the dimensional formula m0 l2 t minus 2. What will be the effect on the value of acceleration? due to gravity at the poles if the rate of rotation of the earth increases? Answer is there will be no effect. If the rate of rotation of the earth increases then the value of acceleration due to gravity decreases at all the places on the surface of the earth except at poles. So answer is A. At sea level what is the difference between the value of acceleration due to gravity at the poles and at the equator? So in this question we have to find the difference. Here yeah, the answer is C. 1.8 cm per second square. The value of acceleration due to gravity increases as we go from equator towards the poles. Which of the following statement is correct about the value of acceleration due to gravity in a light and heavy falling object? Correct answer is C. Acceleration due to gravity is independent of mass, shape, size of a falling body. Therefore, a light and a heavy body will have equal acceleration. What is the gravitational potential energy for infinite distance? Your answer is A. Gravitational potential energy of a body is defined as the amount of work done in bringing the body from infinity to that point against the gravitational force given by U is equal to minus gmm upon R where R is equal to infinity. Here U becomes zero. Which of the following is correct about the value of acceleration due to gravity? 
Correct answer is B. Value of acceleration due to gravity decreases with increase in height. Therefore, it is lesser at mountains than in plains. In which of the following situation the state of weightlessness can be observed? Correct answer is all of the above. The weight of the body is the force which it is attracted towards the center of the earth. And weightlessness is a situation when the observed weight of the body becomes zero. Some of the situations of state of weightlessness can be when an object falls freely under the gravity, when a satellite revolves in its orbit around the earth, when bodies are at null points in outer space. Null here meaning such positions where two or more forces cancel each other and because of which the object is able to maintain its position. What will be the change in the force of attraction between the two bodies if the distance between them is doubled? Correct answer is C. It becomes four times. Because if you look at the formula, if R becomes 2R, then at the denominator we will have 4R square. And when 4 goes to the left hand side, it becomes 4 times. Hence the answer is, if the distance between two masses is doubled, the gravitational attraction between them becomes 4 times. What is the value of universal gravitational constant? We have already seen this in our previous questions. Answer is D. On which of the following, the gravitational force between two objects does not depend? Correct answer is D. Sum of the masses of the object. So the gravitational force between the two objects depends on the gravitational constant, distance between the objects and the product of the masses, which are given by the formula F is equal to G M1 M2 upon R square. Which of the following has an effect on the value of acceleration due to gravity? Correct answer is all of the above. The value of acceleration due to gravity vary due to the following factors. For example, shape of the earth, height above the surface earth, depth below the surface and axial rotation of the earth. The ratio of the magnitude of the external force applied on a body to the magnitude of acceleration produced in its motion is known as. Correct answer is inertial mass. So inertial mass of a body may be measured as a ratio of the magnitude of the external force applied on it to the magnitude of acceleration produced in its motion. It is a measure of an ability of the body to oppose the production of acceleration in its motion by an external force. Choose the correct statement about weight. Here the answer is C. Weight is an attractive force exerted by earth on any body. Its value changes with G, that is from equator towards pole. It is determined by a spring balance and it is a vector quantity. Which of the following is correct about gravitational force? Correct answer is A. The gravitational force is always attractive in nature while electric and magnetic forces can be attractive or repulsive. Gravitational force is the weakest force in the nature. In comparison to the gravitational force the earth exerts on the moon, the gravitational force exerted by moon on the earth is, your correct answer is, will be same. Earth and moon both exert same force on each other, even though the mass of the moon is about 1.2% of the mass of the earth. Acceleration due to gravity on any planet does not depend on which of the following. Correct answer is D. Mass of the object. The value of acceleration due to gravity on any planet depends upon the mass, radius and density of the planet and it is not dependent on the mass, shape and density of the body which is placed on the surface of the planet. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment. Thank you and see you in the next one.